A beacon range check can be done to make sure that your beacon is functioning well, that the antenna hasn't been damaged. This is something that you might do if it's the first time out with a new backcountry group, or if something's happened to your beacon and you wanna make sure that it's functioning properly. Depending on your beacon, there are different ways to do this check. Some of the newer beacons, you can do a range check in close proximity. What I'd like to show is how to do a range check that you actually get a visual for the minimum search strip width if you're doing a signal search. So I'm gonna go out about 20 meters, I'm gonna pace that out, and then we'll do a range check at that 20 meter distance. This gives us a couple benefits. It gives a very clear visual of what 20 meters looks like when we're out in the field. We wanna check our beacons in the worst possible orientation and make sure that everyone can search for my beacon and that their antennas are functioning properly. Okay, go ahead and pull your beacons out and put them in search. My beacon is in send and I'm at a distance paced out of 20 meters away from my crew. They're lined up so that they're roughly the same distance from my beacon. My beacon's in the vertical orientation, which is gonna be the worst case orientation between two beacons. Theirs are in the horizontal. What are you guys getting for reading? Now I've checked that they all have a similar distance to my beacon in that worst case orientation, and they can all pick up the signal from this beacon, no problem. That's my range check. To finish the range check, I'm gonna have them put their beacons in to send, and then I will check them with my beacon in search. After that, I'll put mine in send, stow it, and we head out for the day.